Hello and welcome to the howtonetwork.net lab showing you how to configure trunk links. The config for this lab you can find on howtonetwork.net. So this is the topology we're going to be using. We have router A connected into a Cisco 2950 switch. Our router B is also connected to the same switch, switch number one. We have a trunk link between the two switches which we're going to be configuring and then over on the right hand side, the other side of a VLAN, we're going to have router C. The IP addresses are all 192.168.1. and then a number after that. You can configure this rack on racks.howtonetwork.net there's a there's a topology here especially for you to be able to configure VLANs and trunking across VLANs and lots of other things as well so if you don't have access to two switches and three or four routers this is a good place to get access okay so I'm going to log on to the racks and I'm going to pop the diagram up at the top there so you can see what we're doing first I'm going to connect to router B oh, I'm going to do router A in a minute Router B, all we need to do is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 with an IP address and the IP address is going to be 192.168.1.2 and the whole network is in a slash 24 subnet so we're not doing any VLSM. So it's the command is inter interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 IP address 192.168.1.2 and I'll type no shout. Now we're logging on to router A and we're going to put the IP address 192.168.1.1 and that interface is also fast ethernet 0 slash 0. They actually can connect to fast ethernet 0 slash 2 and 0 slash 3 on switch 1. It's a very simple config on the two routers here and we're also going to put a config onto router C. So router C is connected over there on switch 2 and the IP address is 192.168.1.3. We always give our routers a host name in case we've got several hyperterminal or putty windows open just in case we accidentally configure the, the wrong router. So I've put the IP address on, uh, press no shirt. Now this entire VLAN is, is what's known as in a flat VLAN or VLAN 1. All of the switches are configured to put all the interfaces into VLAN 1 unless you tell them otherwise. So we don't need to add any config to the switches yet, but we will do that shortly because we're going to put all the interfaces into VLAN 2. So I'm going to do a ping from router C across to router A. Now a lot of people get a little bit confused when they do this and the first ping doesn't work. Well what's happening is the switches are building up a CAM table. So what they need to do is track which MAC address is configured or connected to which port. So the first time I did a ping it didn't work. I'll just press the up arrow or you can hold down the control and P key which is short for previous and it'll bring up the last command you entered. So I'm going to do another ping, I've pressed enter and this time it's worked. I've got 5 out of 5 pings and it's 100 percent. I'm going to ping 1.2 and this time we got four out of five pings so again it was building the cam table so the first ping out of five ones wasn't successful. I'll type a show ARP command ARP and it's telling us which MAC addresses are now stored in the ARP table of router C. Very handy command to know for troubleshooting. So you can track your way through various switches and interfaces to see which devices are connected where. So I've gone back to the racks on racks.howtonetwork.net and I'm going to configure switch, switch number one. So it's the switch on the left hand side on your diagram here. So the default output is switch. We'll change the host name from switch to switch number one just so we're, we know which switch we're configuring. Very similar look and feel to the iOS on the Cisco routers. So I've gone into config, called it hostname switch1. We need to exit out of config and type the command VLAN database and we're going to create a VLAN and give it a name and I thought I'd call VLAN2 name Cisco. So there's the two commands there you need. So the switch is at the VLAN prompt. 
in order to do any further config we need to type exit and then we can go back into the usual config mode if we want to put any configurations on the actual interfaces so I've gone config t and this time I'm going to configure interface fast ethernet 0 slash 2 which is on the top left and that's connected to router A so what we're going to do is put fast ethernet interface 0 slash 2 into VLAN 1 I've put the command switch port mode access you don't really need to do that it's very useful for you to know but um, it's already on there by default now I'm typing the command switch port access VLAN 2 and that will tell the interface that it's now in VLAN 2 because remember I said earlier by default it's in VLAN 1 and it's exactly the same on fast ethernet 0 slash 3 which connects to router B switch port mode access is on there by default so I'm just going to put the command switch port access VLAN 2 so if I left it at that the routers A and B would be able to speak to each other because they're both in VLAN 2 on the same switch now I'm configuring the trunk link which is inter interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and I've typed switch port mode question mark we've got a choice of three here and I'm going to type trunk because I want to trunk across the links between switch 1 and switch 2 I've typed no shut to bring the interface up so we're pretty much done there on switch 1 I've gone back to the racks on how to network and we're going to put the same commands in onto switch number two a little bit shorter this time because we're only got router router C connected to switch number two so I'll give it a host name switch two drop out of config mode and type VLAN database and it drops into switch and VLAN configuration mode and we're going to create VLAN 2 and give it the name Cisco drop out of VLAN configuration mode by typing exit or you can hold down the control and the Z key or in America I think it's control and Z interface fast ethernet 0 slash 2 and we're going to pop the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 2 into VLAN 2 and that will enable router C to connect to routers A and B so I've typed switch port access VLAN 2 and that will put the interface into VLAN 2 next thing is interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and we'll set this to switch port mode access so we're coming to the end of the configuration now very simple and straightforward and you, you should find this quite easy to do I've now gone on to router C all the trunks are up all the interfaces have been put into the VLAN 2 I'm going to ping from router C to router A and it's worked first time so really as a user on the on the LAN you wouldn't actually know which VLAN you've been put into all the configs on the, the switches I've typed show VLAN brief and it's telling me on that switch I've got interface fast Ethernet 2 so thanks for watching, there's loads more labs like this on howtonetwork.net.